Welcome to new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built a VS Code extension using cursor. And this extension is using DeepSeq model and Quinn model to help you code. It's a basic extension and I used cursor to build it from scratch. So let's go to cursor. Okay, before that, this is the GitHub repo. If you want to try it out, install locally and try to iterate it or improve it. So let's go to cursor. So this is the code files of this extension and everything is written by cursor. I didn't do anything. I just given prompt one prompt to composer. And then I asked chat to build and iterate and improve this extension. So let me start this extension once. So when PM run compile, I haven't changed anything. Now I have to click F5 to open VS code development host server for this extension to run in action. So I click F5. Now I have to click command shift P and go to deep encoder chat. So here you can see it's running in local preview. So now what I have to do is enter API key. For API key, we have to go to Navius AI Studio because I use Navius AI Studio models, Deepseek Coder, V2 Lite, Quinn 2.5 coders, and Deepseek V3. So I have to paste API key here and then we can chat with this extension. So I'm going to log in on this Navius AI Studio and get my API keys. I have already my keys stored somewhere. So I'm not going to log in here, but you can see this has lots of models. AI models that you can use for your development or side projects and when you sign up you will get dollar one worth of credit as well so log in and get the API keys for the models and paste it here done and you can see this UI is not that great because I used just cursor to build it but, but it did a good job I think I guess so oh, let's select I'm selecting going to point five coder 32 be stripped so for select code part, I'm going to copy paste some code parts from here. Let's see what answers it will give. I've copy pasted the code and let's ask, explain me the code. Okay, just that and hit send. And AI will answer this. And I'm using Quinn 2.5 coder. Okay, so it generated the output result. So you're right, be happy to explain the code context you provided. Let's break it down step by step. So it break down constant variables and you can see it's not properly formatted because you know cursor is doing it. I can iterate using cursor chat to make it better, but still it's doing good job. Okay. So let's ask another question. Can you try to write this code in Python? I know this is not a correct question to ask here, but uh, let's see what is a Dipsy coder V2 light I'm using for this question. So let's see if it's able to do anything or not. So here is my question. I picked this model and I have to open this API keys there. Okay, so it generated something. Certainly below is the equivalent Python code for the provided JavaScript context. And you can see it tried writing it this. And not sure what it did here. I guess I have to fix the output formatting because it's not a good layout to get answers and colors are not punchy to see. It's just yellow and gray. So let me iterate it using cursor chat again to try to improve this extension. Let's go to cursor again. And let's ask improve overall UI UX of this extension. Also improve format by making sentence bold italic and picking colors for code responses make sure to format it properly yeah it's not a good prompt but you know it can do the work improve overall ui of this extension to Make it attractive. Now let's see what it does to our extensions. So I'm using cursor small because I haven't paid for cursor pro. So you can see I'm just using cursor small because my 3.5 sonnet credit is exhausted. So it's writing, it's changing chat panel.ts file. Okay, chat panel.ts file. 
so it's a ui that is generating from this file okay so it's already created let's apply and accept now let's see what its changes so it's saying me like the changes made styling enhancement font colors bold and italic formatting code formatting additional suggestion responsive user feedback accessibility okay so you know, let's check what it does so it broke down something so let's add to the chat and ask to fix okay it missed something html tag i guess here okay then let it fix let's see if it's able to do that i guess it can do now let's see if it's able to compile yeah it's done after npm run compile i just have to disconnect the last one and again f5 and again command shift p and here you go deep to encoder okay so it improved a bit so, so let's paste navius api key again then select uh, deep seek b3 okay select code part here so i'm going to select okay select this part and paste here and let's ask explain this code and try to add some css or styling add selected code is like not functioning right now so let's see what it gives the answer previously these words are not visible so it fixed those and you know deep v3 is like taking a lot time than other models to give an answer so we can wait for a few seconds okay so it's given me the answer code is react function it's still not styling well it tried to do this word as a bold formatted but it wasn't able to so let's see it tried explaining me things yeah formatting is still not good but yeah you can see like cursor can do this as well and after a few more prompt it can fix those and if you want to add custom CSS for more advanced or specific styling, you can create a CSS file and port it into your component. Here is an example. So it's created a CSS code file as well. So you have seen like how cursor created this whole thing, this whole VS code extension and VS code extension has option to choose between these five models, deep seek coder v2 light, quint 2.5 coder 7b, 7b instruct and quint 2.5 coder 32b instruct and deep seek p3 as well i'm not adding deep seek r1 because you see like deep seek p3 is still taking few extra second and deep seek r1 will take more because it keeps thinking and thinking so i'm not doing it i just made this extension using cursor to show you how powerful cursor is and tools like cursor windsurf can empower you to build things in just days or hours instead of doing in multiple days and i'm using navius ai studio for api keys and model implementation because it's a cheaper inference provider and i also got like one dollar worth of credit after sign up and i got a coupon code that got me 25 dollars worth of credit so go check it out and if you want to improve this code extension and want to build upon it i have already published the github repo you can go and check it out i will drop all the links down in description thank you for watching bye